Hello, viewers. I'm Alexis. Welcome to Legit Kidlet, a YouTube series that features the silly side of Kidlet authors and illustrators. Today, we welcome Kevin Sylvester, returning draw off participant, <laughs> Stan Yan, Shiho Pate, and Lee Fodi. All right, to get you warmed up, draw the cover of one of your books with your eyes closed. Oh, okay. You I have... have to take my glasses off and I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I just need to take my glasses off. I'm legally blind. So exactly. we're all good. Great. And then it works. Uh, you guys have three minutes. Ready, set, go. <sighs> I'm afraid of what this is going to look like. <laughs> I can't even draw them. I can't even draw the box. Yeah. I can't draw the covers of mine with my eyes open half the time. So... So do you draw on one continuous line or are you picking up your pencil? I'm picking mine up, which might be a major mistake. No yeah, kidding. I it'll it'll be uh, funnier results that way, though. Yeah. Oh, no. Why didn't I write a book with an abstract cover? <laughs> That's right. The circle. <laughs> like, why? I, I mean, I should have been thinking of this in advance. I was thinking of just doing my book Miners, which is just four letters. Well, that would be a clever decision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we draw it? Can we draw like underneath the jacket? Uh. <laughs> just a solid <laughs> color. Purple. <laughs> just a solid. Yeah. I'm I'm done. I'm done. I, know, I, I think I'm done. I think I'm, I think I'm done, done too. I'm gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> we I'm with end. all of you. I'm with all of you. If I try to, I'm not looking at this. I. Yeah, but I think yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep my eyes closed as I hold it up to the camera. That way I'll be as shocked as everybody else. <laughs> can I open my eyes or should I keep of it? Of course. You okay. can open up your eyes. Oh, okay. Kevin's the returning champion. Maybe you should go I, first. I had to see how it looked, so I, I opened my eyes. I didn't color it. Uh, did I need to? <laughs> I don't know how to choose colors with my eyes closed. So. That's right. Accidentally feel. black and it just gets like all messed out. Redacted. I... Mine uh, actually turned out better than I thought it was going to turn out. That's amazing. Hey, I know. Wow. I have no idea wow. how that happened. Although the, there's like and you, and you did lift your hand. It looks like I did lifted. lifted my hand, but it's oh come on, Kevin, you must have cheated. No, nope, definitely. And you saw I had my glasses <laughs> off, so it wouldn't that's true. That's true. That's so, I think you. That's amazing. Wow, that was. Really good. So, Kevin, tell us about yourself and your books. All right. Well, sorry. Yeah. So, this the fabulous Ed Watson is the one I decided. This is just for comparison. You can see what it looks like. Oh wow! Wow! I know. I, I'm kind of impressed. Although I got everything on the wrong side. So, this is a book I wrote with my kid Basil. Uh, it's about a character named Zed Watson who has named themselves. They're non-binary, and uh, they go on a road trip to try to find a treasure which includes the greatest book ever written that was never published. It's about monsters. And it's uh, it's actually done really well. It was up for the National Award in Canada, a couple of different awards in Canada, which is lovely. And you can buy it in the States as well. And, uh, and it's, it's amazing. Book. Thank you, Lee. It's a book about liking yourself. It's a book about accepting yourself. And and I wish I, I wish I had more of that when I was Zed's age. And I think a lot of kids need to have that in their lives. So that's yes. what we did. We wrote that. And there may be more coming. That's all I'll say. Oh, that is exciting. <laughs> that is. Thank I, I you so much. I love those cryptic teasers, you know. That's right. You always have to have a clip. I talk track. about it, but, you know. That's right. Just saying. <laughs> I genuinely love that book, Kevin. And same thing. I wish uh, it was around when I was a kid, but I wish it was really around when my goddaughter was young. It would have meant a lot to her. Yeah. Oh. Can, yeah. And that Baz was a big part of that as well. My kid's not binary, so. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, how about we go to Shiho next? Okay. Oh, that's a hard one to follow up. On. <laughs> Wait a minute. This. Ooh. I tried my best, and the book cover is this. Wow. Oh, so, that's pretty good. That Ooh. is really good. That's really good. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm most impressed by the fact that you got the title in the rectangles there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah, this is my book. Um, obviously, it's about periodic table. And yes, I did 
draw all of the periodic table like elements. Oh, wow. wow. Yes, all of them are there in there. <laughs> so goodness. it's crazy. But um, yeah, it's published by Scholastic. It came out last September. And um, there's actually going to be a follow-up book. Sorry, I don't know where my camera is. Follow-up book. And that's going to be about rocks and minerals. And that will be out this fall. Wow. So yeah, check it out. <laughs> So we're going to next drawing. draw the interior of our books with our eyes closed. So we're going to do the periodic table. Oh, no. <laughs> next, next challenge. <laughs> Dangerous. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. I love periodic table, a book like that. That is we'll really have awesome. have to look for that. Yeah. How long all did right. it take you to draw all of the individual pieces? And oh, when did okay. your hand break? Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> but it was actually fun to like caricaturize something that's not that you know there's no character for it so but, but yeah it, it took a while but it was a fun collaboration with the the art director so yeah wow. nice Very that cool. is cool all right stan you're up all right okay so can you see this yeah yes this is mine <laughs> and this is uh uh my book there's a zombie in the basement, which was a story <laughs> that, that was good. inspired by my son's fear of my zombie artwork. Um, uh, so it's about is about a, a boy who won't go to sleep because his fears of uh, what are in the basement uh, start to get more and more outrageous, and pretty soon he's afraid of uh, pink colored ponies and all sorts of things until his parents realize that they've got to play along, and. Uh, <laughs> Eventually, um, you know, at the very end, it culminates in this page where that's a little interactive. Probably oh, not oh, the favorite cool. of the, uh, the librarians <laughs> that have kids draw in the book. It says, uh, what are you afraid of? Draw a picture of it here. And uh, it's been a nice, uh, a nice book. I'm actually on, um, it's, it's self-published. Uh, but uh, it's it's on its uh, third printing, uh, probably a fourth printing coming, and wow. hopefully I'll be able to fund the fourth printing with uh, uh, some advance on royalties because I'm I'm close, but no contract yet. But I've got another book. Everything that I do is kind of monstery or horror like, um, and the things that I'm working towards right now are all um, uh, graphic novels for like middle graders because. My son's still inspiring my work, and uh, he's a little older now. So, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my God. I know a lot of students who would love all of those graphic novels, like the horror and the monsters and stuff. That's pretty popular. So, mm -hmm. and when and when we get to talking about school visits and things, I mean that was that's really what's been moving this book off the shelves because uh, we've been doing a lot of school visits. <laughs> oh. I also like that it's interactive in the back. That's cool. I think librarians could like paste or they could like stick extra pages in and be like, that would be really cool. Well, I, it's a part of my visit kit. So I let them print out that last page. And that way, before my school visits, they can have all the kids draw the things they're afraid of. And then uh. I come to school. And sometimes there's like just galleries of all these <laughs> taped up on the walls which is my favorite thing in the world <laughs> yeah, yeah cool. that is really cool all right lee you're up yeah well <laughs> <clears throat> save the humor part for last um that's meant to be the cover of my spell sweeper book i didn't even get the title in I see it. I, I see can it see it. Spell sweeper. I see it. I know. I there's it. so I full disclosure. I didn't illustrate this cover either. Um, I have worked as an illustrator, but I tend to I've transitioned into um, kind of just drawing for as part of my process. Uh, maybe I'll illustrate again. I don't know. I mean, I do illustrate all the time, but I meant professionally. So this is a book about a girl who gets chosen to go to wizard school, which, you know, should be every kid's dream, except it turns out not so great for her and she fails this big test and she gets put into the spell sweeping program which is cleaning up messes after the real wizards have cast spells so it's a little bit of a little bit of a play on standard wizard school tropes and a bit of a satire and um 
Yeah. And it's an excellent book, by the way. I thought I recognized you. your name. I was one of <laughs> your then. beta readers, I think. <laughs> Thank oh. you. It's super so, cute. It has a lot of heart in it, too, Lee. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. So, yeah, I don't, you know, ta-da. This, maybe this is why I've stopped getting illustration. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> that's, my own, that's, my, that's my own choice, too. Um, I, I, I prefer to concentrate on just sketching. And um, my books, I'll start in my brainstorming journal. And so I find it impossible to write without drawing. But I think I've kind of come to the conclusion that I don't actually need to draw as part of the publishing process. Mm -hmm. And I do a lot of drawing for my school visits. So every school visit I do, we do a lot of interactive brainstorming. So um, it is definitely crucial to my creative, my creativity. Well, oh, keep wow. doing it for sure. I, that's really <laughs> cool. All right. So it's time for our main event. Thank you authors and illustrators for sharing all of that. We will spin our challenge wheel and our topic wheel for three rounds. Each round will build off the other. So combine each drawing into one. Um, they can make sense or be random. It's your choice. The only rule is to be silly. So <laughs> viewers, go Done. grab some paper and pencil and join us. Okay. Are we ready? Ready. Here's Let's go for it. <laughs> Do it. Here is our first wheel. All right. So you're going to draw the weather outside. Done. <laughs> God, done. It's snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> And then combine it with a beard. <laughs> All right. And we're going to do um, three minutes to kind of, yeah, we're going to do three minutes. So we're going to make it a little harder. All okay. right. Are you ready? Ready. Set, ready. Go. <laughs> All right, so Stan, um, how can uh, teachers and librarians reach you for your visits? Uh, you can uh, actually go to um, there's a zombie in the basement dot com, and nice. then uh, there's a link a little lower on the page about my live school visits, um, and I, I actually can be there all day, even if you're like K through eight, because I do art workshops as well. That's and amazing. so what I'll do is uh, um, with my zombie in the basement, I'll do a um, interactive monster drawing demo. So I ask the kids what they're scared of. And then I uh, take characteristics of three different things uh, that they give me and uh, try to give them uh, draw or show them how to draw uh, character de designs using simple geometric shapes so that they're easier to repeat. If you're going to draw a story, you'll probably have to draw your character more than once, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. then also, um, I, uh, I tried to draw a non-scary version of what they're scared of. So that's my improv challenge there. Cool. Zombie and boxers with hearts. <laughs> How'd you know what I was drawing? <laughs> It's funny too, Stan, when you're talking about talking to kids about drawing, I love to get them when they're still in middle school because they still love it, but they're starting to not be satisfied with what they're drawing. So <laughs> it's the yeah. same as writing, don't you think, Kevin? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. And so you kind of have to get them when it's like not too late for them to have turned off or gotten turned off to having fun experimenting with stuff. Right. Right. But I always I, say, I mean, it's, it is interesting because, you know, I used to teach summer camps for a long time and, and just like, yeah, there's a definite difference in attitude by age. Like when they're really little, they just want to blast through your project and get done. Yeah. By the time they're in high school, they procrastinate and they're really, um, uh, perfectionist. Yeah. And, exactly. and so 
you know, it's hard for them to get things done because they want everything to be exactly right and perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's why I try to teach a lot of process, right? Like, don't worry yeah. about the deliverable. Let's work on a process because if you get your process and you can enjoy it, then hopefully that's where you can get the joy. Because I try to get everyone, even my high school students, to, to doodle and brainstorm. Uh-huh. Because I always say, like, we're brainstorming. So in some ways, if you can't draw, quote unquote, you're going to have a better time. Yeah. That's why I think I teach middle school. It's because it's that that time of still going, like, still taking risks, but, like, right at that moment. And I hope I can save them and keep them going that way. Yeah. All right. Finish up your doodle. Your beard. I can't wait. <laughs> Ready. I love it. All right. Who's going to go first this time? I got mine. All right. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Since it's very snowy, I decided that I would have the uh, snow person giving himself or herself or themselves a beard made out of snow. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. Very cool. All right. And I left space. Have... Yes, you did. All right, Kiho. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of did the same thing. I left space at the bottom. Um, but yeah, <gasps> sunny, SoCal weather. I love the mustaches. I tried. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what shape can I do with the beard and the mustache? I guess it's more of the more of a mustache than the beard, but yeah. That's awesome. Oh, they're so cute. Nice. You could do a weather book. Ah, that's next. Yeah. That's yeah. next. All right. How about Lee? Show us. Yeah, your... I kind of um, took the same tactic. I did a beard of like, I live in Vancouver. We hardly get snow and we're, we're getting snow right now, which is um, traumatic. But anyway, um, <laughs> Kevin's laughing because he knows Vancouverites are terrible Canadians. Anyway, um, these are, um, I just imagined a beard uh, of snow coming down. So I left space too. Yeah. All right. And Stan. So I did uh, also a sun with a beard on it. Nice. But we share, it's like we share the same brain. Yeah. <laughs> Although, although there's a uh, you know a couple of clouds of steam because uh, it's about eleven degrees outside, even though it's sunny. Oh my goodness! Wow. Well, I love those shades on him. That's pretty cool. Yeah, nice work. All right. And when Sheho's weather book comes out next year, I expect that we all get a little thank you in the <laughs> Inspired by this group, for sure. <laughs> all right. Here's our next round. That was really good. I really like that one. Yeah, that was fun. It's been a weather oh, interesting year, so. Yes. <laughs> All right, draw with your non-dominant hand. <laughs> so, right. This is who are the <laughs> <laughs> who are who's going to be drawing with their left hand instead of their right? Are you all, all of us? us? All of us. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's interesting. Explains why yes. our brains are on the same wavelength. <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. And oh, continuing for some of you. Oh, 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 it's mittens. <laughs> well, that's convenient. Right. That's convenient that's for a couple of you. That's really easy for Kevin because he just adds mittens to the that's right to my snowman. <laughs> <laughs> so with we have to draw. Office. Yeah, with your non-dominant hand. Um, Why are you so cruel? I don't. I... Understand. You know, I tell my middle schoolers that's why I'm a teacher, is so I can torture people. So yeah, I, I'm same. with you. I, I tell my students the same thing. <laughs> I think they believe that. <laughs> I'm not mean, I promise. They just think teachers are there to. I make know. Your life. You got you to play. You have to play into the myth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So Lee, how can people? How can um, teachers and librarians find you for an author visit? Yeah, my website leefody.com, and I have lots of information there about some of the workshops I do, and I do a lot of residencies as well. So spending ongoing periods of time with the school. 
and I'm doing four of them right now. And um, right now I'm doing them all virtually, um, though I have done many of them in person and in all kinds of wonderful places like Thailand and Korea. So I'm looking forward to being able to go in person again. Um, and then, yeah, I usually do, um, I can do anywhere from K to high school. And uh, we're, I'm doing world building with a bunch of teenagers right now. I'm doing wizard school with some elementary aged kids right now. So all kinds of things to kind of explore. And my workshops usually combine a lot of writing, uh, a lot of this brainstorming and drawing, and sometimes even prop building. Whoa, where's my dragon egg? I love your dragon eggs. Those are so, so cool. Yeah, I once did a residency where we made like a hundred of these in three days. Wow. So every kid in the program made an egg. It was intense. You know, uh, last time we had you on, I forgot to, I just remembered, but I crocheted a dragon egg. <laughs> Do you have it? It's not with me right now, but I just thought of it. Um, but it opens. Like, I remember my daughter wanted to play, make a board game with like eggs and have things in it. So I Ooh. will, I'll send a picture, but it like yeah. it hinges. It was supposed to hinge open. And yeah. No, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Someone crocheted me or someone got me. My wife wants to got a baby Yoda crocheted and he has, <gasps> yeah. and has the, the same thing. Like he lives in that shell thing and it opens. <gasps> Oh, I'm going to have to do that. I love making little creatures. I have a kit for Harry Potter speaking. Oh, we mentioned that earlier, but um, I'm excited to, I'll have to do a baby Yoda coming out of his Whoa. little shell. <laughs> All right, Kevin, how can um, authors and uh, how can authors and illustrators, authors and illustrators they're the only teachers. ones I like to talk to. No kids, <laughs> No kids. How can teachers and librarians find you? Uh, there's definitely, there's contact info on my website, which is uh, kevinsylvesterbooks.com. Or you can go follow me on Twitter. I'm very active on Twitter. I'm even do, try, doing my best to combat timeline fatigue by doing a happy doodle every morning. So every morning I do some sort of silly doodle and then post it. Uh, so you can contact me through there or yeah, my website and I do uh, all sorts of different age groups. I do picture books all the way up to middle grade, high middle grade. And I do writing and drawing classes with high schoolers as well, sort of like Stan mentioned. So even if my your kids hate my books and go, why do we have that loser there? I can still teach you how to draw. So shut up, kids. I promise they won't say that. No and one I hates love, me, Kevin. Oh. I love your happy doodles. Like those make me, they make my day. And Thank I need you. to do it. I've been saying I need to start my day with a doodle and I don't. I should. And I should have my kids do it. And the idea of them is they're just silly, not related to anything. They're just whatever is when I'm doodling. And part of it is I have a new puppy. So I find I'm sitting and down on the couch with him more. And so it's an opportunity to just sit and draw which is kind of lovely to rediscover at this advanced uh, age. <laughs> All right. Time is up. Oof. All right. Who's let's see here. Let's see Lee's first. Well, I did um, a pair of mittens laying on the ground below uh, the, the snow beard. And is there, I don't know. Is that a mouse? Yeah, there's, yeah, that's a good question. Is it a mouse? Uh, it's meant to be a mouse. Yeah, that's beautiful. So, <clears throat> that is my non-dominant hand. I want to remind everyone that's, now. Nice work. That is really good. All right, who's next? Who wants to? Stan, how about you okay. next? All right, let me uh, let me zoom in on what I've got going here. <gasps> so oh. I wanted to make sure you knew it was snowy. So I have like a. <laughs> cat uh in the snow with awesome. mittens on oh i want that cat so that's cute. adorable even though i do it with my left hand <laughs> yes. i know it's very hard not to keep apologizing for it's my non-dominant this isn't my talent <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to brace it against whatever to draw you know you did good all right she -ho. I think I had a similar idea as Lee. So I, I did also did a house. <laughs> oh, I love I it. A mouse. I should have put a mouse. So. Oh, that yes. is awesome. I love that. I want to yes. live in that house. It's like a so cozy, warm igloo. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. 
It does good in the snow, maybe not in the rain, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of wool. Why did I make it out of wool? <laughs> All right, Kevin. Oh, I thought we were moving on now. Uh, oh, so, no, no. So one of the things I love about this is that we always, I always end up with like a story idea in my head coming out of these. And yes. so for this one, I thought, well, so this guy is actually kind of like old man winter. And what he does is he goes along and he finds all the things that kids always leave behind. You know what schoolyards are like in winter. Yeah. So he actually has made himself boots out of old gloves. And he goes along like a kind of a vacuum cleaner and sucks them up into here and then repurposes them for, for other things. So I'm going to work on that story. You'll see it in 2025. <laughs> i'm impressed like as as you applied the colors it's all still inside of the lines <laughs> yeah. Thank you. i love yeah. that you're adding color i don't know what kind of mitts these are that's the ones where i just kind of got lost i was like i do baseball <laughs> mitts i don't know right. it counts it counts all right last round let's get our wheel going wheels all right here's the first one all right your least favorite food and oh i didn't switch and a rabbit <laughs> and a rabbit okay oh, that's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> I hope your uh, least favorite food is not rabbit. Actually, just don't like rabbit, though. Never mind. Don't like rabbit. Don't eat rabbits. <laughs> hey, I grew up on a farm. Um, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I, we had we yeah. had rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> are we allowed to draw with our normal hand now? Oh yes, you are oh, good okay. to draw with your very talented normal oh. hand. People are be like, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> That might be a good thing because it's still very good. Well, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to draw my least favorite food. So that might be the case here. <laughs> what is everyone's least favorite food? Egg. Durian. Egg? I can't oh. stand egg. It's disgusting. Once again, it may have something to do with growing up on a farm. Probably, yeah. yeah. Kevin, what did you say? Uh, Vegemite. I, I uh, am kind of notorious for liking almost everything. And the one thing that's defeated me, and I have eaten lots of different things, is uh, Vegemite. I just can't do it. Yeah. My kids, love to, my kids love to tease me about hating eggs, but I'm like, I can play this game all, all day long because there is not a vegetable on planet Earth that I won't eat. Mm, so yeah. I'm like you, Kevin. I love most things. Yeah. I had a great job. I used to be a sportscaster. So we used to go to the Olympics all the time. And what was cool about that was you'd go to all these different places. And uh, and I would just spend the first week I was there just trying to find whatever I could find that I wouldn't get back home. <laughs> and unfortunately, that led me to Vegemite. But it led me to all sorts of other good things. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You're, you're a man of my own heart. <laughs> the best way to travel is based on just stroll and eat. Yes. So, so. Shiho, how can people find you for an, a visit? Yeah. Um, so I have my website, shihopate.com. And also I'm very active on Instagram. Um, so, yeah, you can contact me, follow me there. And, um, yeah, I would love to talk to you. Awesome. <laughs> and I do a lot of characters, like the element characters. I have a lot of them, so I can draw. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm definitely going to check out that book. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so, Stan, so what was your least favorite? Fruit. Yeah. Uh, it's a fruit called durian. Oh. No, love it. <laughs> you do or don't love it? No, I love it. There's not a, I'm serious. There's not a fruit or vegetable on planet Earth I won't eat. Oh. Uh, I, I've eaten it. It just, and maybe it was the way it was eaten, but you know, it's it's a fruit that they uh, have banned from airlines. You can't open them on a lot of, of this, uh, Asian airlines. Yeah. But it smells like a rotting corpse when you yeah. open. Oh, it. it's the it's the smell that gets people. Yeah, 
and I've eaten rotting corpse, and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not your least favorite food? No, it's delicious. I don't know, Stan. You've got some inspiration here for your next zombie. Right. <laughs> Someone who tours the world eating. There's a <laughs> zombie in the oven. <laughs> There's a zombie in the oven, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is time. Ugh. I don't really know if sure. this looks like the fruit <laughs> or not. All right, Sheho, what was your go ahead and share us yours and tell us what your least favorite um, food was. Oh, so my favorite my least favorite food is tomatoes. Oh yeah! Since I was a kid, I couldn't handle tomatoes, and I think I I got the zombie inspired thing now because like <laughs> it's really cute, and then the bunny started eating the tomatoes. So I don't know what happened. Like it was like a last minute. Like when I heard zombies, I was like, okay, I'll I'll let them eat it. <laughs> I love their faces. They're like, no. <laughs> yeah, I like how your story has gone from light to dark. <laughs> so yes, yes. Sunlight, <laughs> sun, stars. Very inspired. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's next? Who wants to go next? I know. Uh, I All do, right. Uh, I sort of, in continuing the story, I've added a sidekick to Old Man Winter here, which is a because they all love lost and forgotten things. So the old guy is like always finding things that kids leave behind. And his buddy, the winter rabbit, Aww. is also wearing mittens for whatever, like discarded stuff. But he also likes things that other people don't like, like Vegemite. And this is supposed <laughs> to be a knife. He looks like he's about to <laughs> somebody. He's not. He's going to put it on toast. No. <laughs> he's very excited. Yeah, like... exactly. <laughs> All right, Stan, how about... How about your All right. So uh, again, playing up the snow thing, we've got uh, the rabbit. Oops, the rabbit has made a uh, a little, or or the uh, the kitten has made a rabbit out of the this durian with forks on top. That's and, great. And That's snow. so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay, now I know what fruit that is. I know. I didn't know it. Well, it looks now like a jackfruit, too, and jackfruit's a little different. Oh, okay. Know. All right. I'm not sure. I had it after they opened it. I didn't really, uh, so I might be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, how about you next? Well, I don't know what happened. Um, I feel like rabbit and egg leads you to Easter. <laughs> I, I don't I don't, for some reason, I drew a rabbit riding an egg, and it, I don't know what's going on. Like, the egg is happy, the egg is hatching. I I don't know. This is like the dark side of Easter. <laughs> like maybe this is my book idea. The Everyone else seems to be getting book ideas today, so maybe mine is like, I don't know. What do you call that? Like, the secret story of Easter? Yeah. He's yeah. writing his Harley Davidson. I, That's I right. can see that that existing in the uh, spell sweeper world, you know, where you see <laughs> yes. the dark underbelly of what Easter really is That's and right. the whole Easter bunny thing. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's interesting. All right, Kevin. Oh, I did oh, mine already. You did yours already. Who did we I got, miss? I did we, we get them all? Yeah, yeah, we got oh them all. Goodness. Yours. We didn't get yours. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I like to see it. Yeah, that's nice. yours. That's a really realistic. I didn't. Call. I had it ready, and then I got distracted. I'll go back and draw. I know I had it ready, and then I was like, ah. "Oh my goodness, this was so much fun!" So, um, thank you, Lee, Stan, Shiho, and Kevin for uh, joining us today and hanging out with us. And we hope everyone watching is inspired to pick up a pencil and some paper and also to go out and pick out some new and amazing books. Oh. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yes. Oh, you're showing your book, Carol. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, show those books. Better than my yeah. Page. <laughs> okay and if you want any information about these awesome creators check out their information below and we'll be back next week for another episode bye bye everybody bye, everyone. all right hanging out with